Okay, we're back. And so we're going to look at a number line. You know, a very underestimated topic here. You know, kids feel like they learn number lines, you know, in elementary school or middle school, which they did. But the SAT, the ACT, they can make these somewhat challenging. Uh, this one actually comes from a PSAT this year. There was one very similar, I believe, on the January SAT. So let's see what they've given us here. They give us a number line. We have x, x squared, and 4x. And it says if x is positive and the ticks are equally spaced, what does x equal here? So you could pause the video, see if you could solve it. Um, give you some time and then we'll come back and we'll solve it together. All right, we're back. And, you know, a big tactic on these tests is to try to take you out of your comfort zone. It's just going to be the overuse of variables that's going to try to get kids confused here. You know, let's just do a little quick tutorial of the number line. Let's say, let's say this were 2 and this were 8. And let's say those were equally spaced, you know, and we wanted to know what was in the middle. And that's, this is a key point on number lines. There's probably two key points. One is being able to find the middle or the midpoint. You know, everyone's probably smart enough to just kind of look at this and get the answer. But, you know, a good way to do it, two ways to do it. This is probably the easiest way. Just add the two endpoints together, right? 8 plus 2, which is 10. And then to get the middle, divide by 2. And we would get 5. So that's one way, right? One way is just... Essentially, we'll call that like the midpoint formula. The second way is a two-stepper, and this is probably more relevant when there's more, you know, than just a couple spaces here. But the first, the second way is, we'll take this out of there, you know, figure out how long the segment is. So from 2 to 8, right, is just 6 units. I would just do 8 minus 2. So I know the length is 6 units. And then what I would do is I would just divide by the number of spaces there are, right? So there's one, two spaces. If you think about it, almost like a football field. So there's two spaces, which is going to tell me that there are three units for every space. So if I'm at the two-yard line, and this is worth three, if I move three, right, I get to five. So you could do it either way. You could do it with the midpoint, or you could go the units and the spaces method. I think I just made that up. But in this case now, let's see, we'll do it, we'll just use the midpoint method because that's probably a little bit easier here. So all I know is if these are equally spaced, right, that's the middle. So if I take my two endpoints, x and 4x, and I add those together, right, well x plus 4x is obviously 5x, and if I divide that by 2, that should be the midpoint. And now what they're telling me is that the midpoint is x squared, right? So what I can do is set the midpoint equal to x squared. And now it's just really an algebra contest. You could, you know, you can pretend there's a 1 here. I know kids like to cross multiply, so you could do that, right? So we would get what? 2 times x squared is 2x squared. 1 times 5x is 5x there. And, you know, typically we would say move the 5x over and try to factor it. But in this case, right, we're, we're not looking for two solutions here. We know x is positive. So really we can just sort of divide each side by x. This would go away and that would go away, right? So we would have 2x is 5, making x equal to 5 halves. And let's see if it works. Might as well just plug it in and see. So if x is 5 halves, let's see, well, if I square 5 halves, right, that's going to be what, 5 halves times 5 halves, that's going to be 25 over 4. And then if I multiply that by 4, so 4 times 5 halves is going to be what, 20 halves, which is really 10, 20 halves. But let's see, I, it's hard to tell there. Maybe we get a common denominator, which looks to be 4. So really, this is going to be, if I multiply this by 2 and by 2, that's 10 fourths. And if I multiply this by 2 and by 2, that's going to be, what, 40 over 4? So let's see if it works. 
from 10 fourths to 25 fourths, right? That's just a distance of 15 fourths. From 25 fourths to 40 fourths, that's also a distance of 15 fourths. So that should do it. So x should be 5 halves.